Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, this is one of our latest projects we've been working on, just on and off for the last week or two. Kind of waiting on a couple parts and they got here the other night and was able to get this thing out and dialed in. It's ready for work, I guess you could say. Um, little O24 Super, it does have a 44 millimeter top end on it, um, which basically makes it an O26 minus the front adjuster and the single bar stud that you'll find on the O24s, but the O24 Super is kind of an odd one. You don't really see a lot of them, or at least ways I don't. Um, around here you've seen mainly the uh, O24 wood bosses, like the little small one we have. Um, the uh, Super, I think it's 45 cc's. I know it has a 42 millimeter bore because I ordered a 42 millimeter piston um, <laughs> and when it came here and I got the saw apart it already had a 44 millimeter jug on it but I'm not going to go into detail but I'm assuming it's an 026 cylinder but it is one of the weirdest ones I've looked at this had a really weird squish man the exhaust port was a lot smaller than what I'm used to seeing on 026s and 260s so you know, maybe it is one of the very, very early first run of the mill 44 millimeter jugs. Um, but honestly, what's weird, I don't believe it ever been off of the saw. So I don't know, maybe it was something somebody upgraded when they bought the saw new. But I have no idea. I guess it's possible that maybe some of the later 024 Supers could have actually had a 44 millimeter jug. But, you know... With that said, you know, it just kind of weird, but um, let's see, we rebuilt the top end, used the OEM cylinder, I put a piston in it from the Duke, we got lucky and it was a dome piston, uh, squish, I think I've got it at 19 thousandths, uh, exhaust timing um, just kind of fell right where we wanted it to, right in that 155 degrees of duration, that's usually what I like on an O26. Um, you guys know i'm not a big fan of going in and cutting exhaust roofs anyway and you know when i get up aftermarket cylinder and it's got a really early opening i kind of cringe anyway but over the years i've learned ways to make them work and you know it is what it is but um i had to do a lot of transfer work to it the transfer time them was kind of it just had a lot more blow down than i like i know some people like a lot of blow down on a saw but I'm just not a fan, you know, over the years I've learned what works and what don't work and, you know, this saw has 19 degrees of blowdown and as you can see in the video, I'll just leave it in and not edit it out, me tuning it, the saw will still rev out and scream, um, we could turn it past 15 grand if we wanted to, but bottom end's not been rebuilt and, you know, I'm just not going to do that on bearings that I have no idea how old they are, but let's see what else did we do we put a new impulse line on it i put a new fuel line in it rebuilt the tilly carb that was on it and uh let's see i think i've had to put a clutch bearing in it the one that was on it was just worn plumb out um, this chain you know it's not the most aggressive thing in the world but it's sharp and it cuts pretty good and you know we're going to take this thing out this evening I think dad said he had some small trees in his way up where he's doing some bush hogging on his place so we're gonna take this saw and put a little bit of time on it i guess um the test cuts was actually you know that's that's about all it's been around other than a few heat cycles here so that's just kind of the way i am i know a lot of people like to let them just sit and idle and warm up and cut them off and idle and warm up I do that three or four times here in the shop and then I go out and dial the saw in and a piece of wood and then you know we take it to the woods and work it and it's either a go or blow deal and you know nine times out of ten it's been successful and I've not had any problems but with that said I'm gonna quit running my mouth I'll throw up the test cuts you know if you've got any questions you're welcome to ask but um with that said, uh, you guys stay safe out there and y'all have a good one.